This is Twit. Hi, I'm Chad with Twit, and before you buy in today, I am reviewing two products. The Bridge keyboard for the iPad and the Repel uh, iPad waterproof case. Let's go ahead and start out with the Bridge. The Bridge is a keyboard that you add to your iPad 2, 3, or 4th generation. This does not work with the iPad Air. It needs to have that sort of long edge design of the older iPads. It does collapse up and fold out almost like you would expect a laptop to do. And I really do like the hinge that is on this keyboard. It uses just sort of these rubberized latex inserts uh, around aluminum hinges that keep your iPad in place. Uh, I would say that the keyboard is on there pretty sturdy, so is the iPad. The case connects with the iPad via Bluetooth, and it also has multimedia keys along the top, which are things like for home, brightness up and down, volume up and down, play, pause, that sort of thing. And then it also has uh, stereo speakers right on the top as well. Now the keyboard, it's a full-size keyboard. It makes typing a dream on uh, an iPad, especially if you have to do it an awful lot. The case is made out of aluminum, the same type of aluminum that you would expect to find on a MacBook or the back of your iPad, which is nice. It has rubberized stoppers so that you don't scratch up your iPad or the table on the front and the back. I've had this case for coming in around a month and a half. Mine hasn't failed, but it is something to definitely keep in mind that the warranty does not cover all that long and there's a lot of people saying that this breaks after six months. Okay, let's get into the pros and cons for the Bridge key full-size keyboard. I really enjoyed the full-size keys and keyboard. It felt very, very nice. I love the fact that I had multimedia buttons that worked very seamlessly with the iPad and the extra speakers were fantastic. On the cons, this was pretty heavy. This was pretty heavy. I didn't like hefting around the exact same weight as an iPad Air. The weird Bluetooth pairing process that you have to go through is a con. And then finally, the horrible Amazon reviews is also a big con. Buy, try, don't buy for the Bridge iPad keyboard case. I'm going to have to give this a try. Uh, the price was a small factor in that because I don't see a lot of people who would want to spend close to 200 bucks for uh, just a case, a nice looking case. If you're someone who has to type, I might understand, um, but uh, also with the cons of especially those Amazon reviews, I couldn't give this a full resounding buy. So that has been the bridge. Next, we have one more iPad case, and this is also for the third generation or second generation iPad. It's the Repel waterproof case. This is a case that you can submerse in water up to 33 feet. Let's go ahead and set it inside. You start with a Velcro, and then you get past three Ziploc, uh, little Ziploc areas. There is an orientation to the case because on the back of the case, there is an opening for the iPad camera. The front plastic works just as you would expect, allowing you to tap in, tap around. Uh, it's just as responsive as you would hope for. The case does have magnets to keep the front door closed, and it also works with the iPad smart cover technology. Along the back, you have two places that you can put the cover into so that it will hinge and stay on an angle. What would you use this for? Of course, boating along, along the pool, you know, when you're out uh, at the beach on vacation. The shower, because you wanna use your iPad, you know, all the time. You don't want just a, a silly shower to slow you down. So let's get into the pros and cons of the Repel iPad case. On the pros, it definitely keeps your iPad dry. It also has a cutout for your, uh, your camera on the back side of your iPad. And I really liked the magnetic uh, clamping that this case does. On the cons, it definitely does feel like a lot of plastic and uh, the edges 
while not in, like sharp, they're not gonna cut you, they are very hard edges and don't feel luxurious at all. It's also very hard to get at any of the side buttons once this iPad is encased in the plastic. It's very hard to hit even just the unlock button or I, I, I can't figure out a way to get to the volume up and down buttons. I'm trying as hard as I can to squish up there and I really just can't get to them. There's no way to get to the ports or the headphone jack, which isn't that big of a con because you would sort of expect it in a waterproof case. This comes in at $49.95 uh, and uh, buy, try, don't buy. Let me tell you, I say go ahead and buy this thing. 50 bucks it might be a little bit expensive for something like this, but it does work. And if you're someone who needs this hardy, up to 33 feet of water, you could take this snorkeling, you could take it scuba diving within reason. Uh, I really do think that it is quite nice. I've been Chad Johnson for Twit and Before You Buy. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.